Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will explain you how you will eliminate duplicate entry from an array. Let's start the session. Eliminate duplicate means what we will do? Write a function named eliminate duplicate that takes an array of integers in random order and eliminates all the duplicate integers in the array. The function should take two argument. Number one, an array of integer. Number two, an integer that tells the number of cells in the array. The function should not return the value, but if any duplicate integers are eliminated, then the function should change the value of the argument that was passed to it so that the new value tells the number of distinct integers in the array. Here is an example. Suppose the array passed to the function is shown below and the integer passed as an argument to the function is 11. Suppose you are passing the value 58, 26, 91, 26, 70, again 70, 91, 58, 58, 58 and 66. Then the function should alter the array so that it looks like 58. 26 91 70 and 66 and it should change the value of the argument so that it is 5 instead of 11 the question mark in the cells after the fifth cells indicate that it doesn't matter what numbers are in those cells when the function returns I have declared an array with the name of my array as an integer I did not mention any value why because after this I want to declare by using the user defined number for that purpose I have taken one variable n as an integer and I am going to store the value into that integer variable n console dot right line if you will enter the value of 5, 5 will be stored into variable n. If you will enter 10, 11 and so on, whatever number you will enter that will be stored into variable n. And this is used to declare the number of cells in that array. Redeem is used to define redimension and my array and n is the number of cells, number of elements in that array. After this, what I'm going to do, this is just a message that will display enter the elements into the array. This is a message. After this, I want to start from index 0 to n minus 1. Okay, if you will enter number is 6, it means you will start from 0 to 5. Okay, and you will get an input from the user defined and will that value will be stored into the array. Okay, first it will be stored into the array or index of 0, then 1, 2, 3, so on like that. Okay, I want to run this program and I want to show the output. Enter the number of elements in an array. Suppose I am going to enter 6 elements. Now this is message, enter the elements into an array. Suppose now I am going to enter 1. 3, 5, 6, 9 and 5. Okay. Right now, just I have written a program that will ask you to enter the number of elements. How many number of elements you want to store into that array and then you will enter the values in the array. Now I have written here function name is eliminate underscore duplicate and this function takes two parameters. First parameter is array and second parameter is number of elements, number of cells in that array. Who will receive these parameters? First parameter is received by the same name my array. This you can maybe have the same name or different name that doesn't matter. Okay, but I am keeping the same name. First parameter is receiving by my array and second parameter is receiving by n. I have written the same name and in this function right now I did not write anything inside the function. Now I'm going to write a function that will eliminate, eliminate the duplicate values from the array. Here I have declared another array with the name of new array. And how many elements I will declare? I am I am using to declare. I use to declare the number of n element. Assuming that that no element is repeating, there is no element is that is repeating. If you will enter the pass, if you will enter the value of five, it means to show in the new array five elements. That's why I am keeping the same number of elements for the new array. And key there is I have one. I have taken one variable with the name of key and key will get the value from the old array and that key will check whether this value is already existed in the new array or not. Index is a variable name flag and check. Okay, flag and check is used to show me the true value or false value and flag the purpose of flag is it will check me whether value is already exist then that 
value will not stored into the new array and the check will use to show whether there is duplicate value is there or not by default i what i did first element that is index number 0 assigned to the new array of index number 0 okay because first element is the same after this what i am going to do i want to pick from 1 to n minus 1 all the element one by one I will pick one element from the my array and will store into the variable key. After this, this flag is true. Always before going to enter into the loop, the will flag will be true because I am thinking that this is a new element. Means there is no duplicate. The element is not exist. Okay. For k equal to zero to index, it will check from the new array. Okay, new array is handled by the index. Okay, how many elements I have already entered into the array, new array. That's why this loop will execute from 0 to that value. Okay, and that is indicated by index. What I'm going to check, I'm checking whether new element, new element in the new array is equal to key, whether this key will match with the, with the elements that I have already entered into the array. If it will match, then flag will be false. If flag will be false, we will not enter that value into the new array. And index is equivalent to k. Means k will get the index. The purpose of this line to just only stop the loop because I don't want to move till last index. Okay, and check equal to false. Check will shows me that there is one duplicate value is there. Okay, when this loop will be finished, then it will check if flag equal to true because I'm going to enter flag equal to true. If flag is true, then same value. If I'm receiving flag equal to true, it means there is no duplicate value. Then what I will do, I will increase one index. One value of the index will be increased and will store into that index key element. Okay, that I'm getting from the old array. Okay, in this way, I will enter I will enter only unique values, distinct values. Okay. At the last, it will show me if check equal to true, then it will show me then console dot right line. There is no duplicate value because I'm going to check. Okay. Because at the beginning, I have given true value. And if, if check will not get a false value, it means there is no duplicate value. Else, what you will do after removal duplication for x equal to zero to index. And then you will show that element console dot write new array of x. Okay, I want to run this program. Suppose you want to enter six values. First value is one, two, 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 three, eight. Okay, one, two, 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 three, eight. How many their unique values are there? One, two, three, eight. After removal of duplication, value is one, two, three, eight. Okay, when I will run it again. So I have entered suppose eight values. I'm going to enter three, two, one, five, six, three, two, four. And after removal of duplication, first is three, then two, then one, then five, then six, then three is already repeated, two is already repeated, and four is the new value that will store into it. Okay, and if there is no duplicate value like this, for example, you are going to enter five values, and what are the five values? One, two, three four and five there is no duplicate value okay this is my program this i have written the function this is eliminate function this is the main function and i am calling this eliminate function into the main main function okay thank you students if you like my video please subscribe my channel and thank you jazakallah khair